skip the day again. I'm not really good at these daily things. Dang, look at how poofy my hair is. Noise. So, day 10 was yesterday. Day 10 says, talk about employment and your career. What do you do to support yourself? <laughs> I'm sorry. What do I do to support myself? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> it wants to know if are you in a traditionally gendered field or occupation? How have your coworkers reacted to you being trans? Let me talk about the past a little bit. I came out at two different jobs. Um, first time I came out, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with myself. And it was at a job I didn't really like. And I came out as a trans man. And it was kind of awful. Um, people were like outwardly supportive but there'd be these weird, uncomfortable situations like um, the HR manager came up to me and said that if I went to use the men's restroom and there was a line, then please could I wait outside so I didn't make the guys uncomfortable. And that is not okay. That was really shitty. And But I didn't have the voice at the time to be able to say, hey, that's really shitty. Um, in the end... I just quit that job. It was a terrible job. I wasn't enjoying it. And when I started my next job, I had at that point realized I wasn't really sure about my gender and I didn't tell them I was trans. Um, so I worked there for a while and then I decided to start testosterone. I decided to get top surgery and at that job I came out as non-binary. Um, but at the time I thought I was like mostly male. So I still, at that time, I still used male pronouns, he pronouns. Um, they always want to know what bathroom you're going to use, so I decided to use the men's bathroom. Um, and they were really cool. They were nice. Uh, they had, at the, at the first job, they sent out a letter to everybody to just tell them what the deal was. At the second job, we actually had meetings with everyone. So I got to explain, I got, I chose... I had the option of doing it myself or having somebody else do the meetings, but I chose to come out to all my coworkers myself in small meetings, small groups, and talk about being transgender and being non-binary and what that meant. Um, so that was overall a good experience. Um, there was one person who kept asking me really personal, inappropriate questions. I told my manager, and that manager forbade that person from ever talking to me again. So that was nice. So they were cool. Um, and fortunately, I had to leave that job because of uh, anxiety and PTSD issues. So I am not working right now. Um, my mom's supporting me because she loves me and doesn't want me to die in the streets. And, um, I've realized that all work is coercive because if you have to work in order to survive, that means you don't really have the ability to consent to work. You're being forced to work. And the only solution to this is communism. So prepare for the revolution. Day 11. Talk about... This is a long one. Talk about expression and presentation. Do you pre present as your identified gender? Do you use cosmetics? Do you use scented products? Do you wear jewelry or other accessories? Which rack do most of your clothes come off of? Do you take any special measures with regard to body, facial, or head hair? Have you faced any particular challenges related to your gender expression or presentation? That is a really long-ass question. Um... Do I present as my identified gender? Why, yes, because it turns out a gender can look like anything, anything, any fucking thing. This is what a gender looks like. Also, a gender can look like somebody who's really super girly with long curly hair and lots of makeup. Or a gender can look super masculine with like a crazy huge beard and um, um, I guess. Guy, I don't know. I don't know what else makes dudes look masculine. Um, 
So, yeah, so, and, oh, and it turns out that any gender can look like anything, because men can also be super feminine, and women can also be super masculine. So, yeah, I present as my gender, and, I mean, uh, mostly, <laughs> mostly what I wear depends on what is easiest. Um, and, like, check out this hair. This hair is easy. I don't even really have to brush this hair. Although, I mean, right now it's crazy. But see, it's all short here. So I don't have to do nothing. I probably need to trim this a little bit or something. Um, I can't use product in my hair because the curl is stronger than any product I've ever used. That didn't work. So, uh, so I have to just let it do what it wants to do easy. The only reason I don't wear makeup is because it takes time. And it turns out if you don't put eyeliner on every day, you will forget how to put eyeliner on. It's not like a bicycle situation. You'll just come, you, you it'll be months since you put on eyeliner and then you're going to put on eyeliner and it's like, what are you doing? I don't know. I forgot. I don't use scented products because they're disgusting. Um, and I'm sensitive to perfumes and shit. Uh, jewelry and other accessories, I just forget to put it on. I actually have a lot of jewelry. I have, like, I don't know if he's, like, there's, like, this jewelry over here. There's stuff on the wall over there. I actually, I have a jewelry box over there. I don't know if that showed up on the, uh, on the thing. But I just, I just don't think about it. I just forget to wear it. So... The only reason I wear glasses is because I can't see without them. Uh, which rack do most of your clothes come off of? I think mostly women's because, well, I don't know. A lot of most most of my clothes are t-shirts and they're unisex. Although I mean, I do have some like lady cut t-shirts. This came off out of the dude section. Um. It's just, uh, I, I don't know. Women's clothes fit me better, personally. I don't know why. I have a beard. This is the best I could have, I could do for the length of time I was on testosterone. And I don't trim it, really, because I, I don't know. It's already hard enough to see. If I trimmed it, it'd be even harder. This is getting really long. Um... Have I faced any particular challenges related to my gender expression? It took a while to figure out that it didn't it doesn't fucking matter what I wear or anything like that. It took a while for me to realize I don't have to wear certain kinds of clothes in order to you know be masculine or feminine or, or agender. Um so yeah, I went through periods where I'd wear clothes that were actually uncomfortable for me because I thought I had to look a certain way. But, um, I mean, yeah, after a while, it'd be nice if everybody re just understood and respected the fact that our clothes don't mean a goddamn thing other than the fact that it's cold outside. And also, they don't let us into certain establishments if we're not wearing a shirt. And they don't let you anywhere if you're not wearing pants or, like, a skirt or something. They're really strict about that. So, um, there really is no such thing as girls' clothes or boy clothes or any of that bullshit. It's just, just fucking material to cover our skin. To cover my pale, pale skin. Okay, that's it. Bye.